through the distant fire trapped in this machine oh how long we've waited as the Eggman's watching hey everybody on youtube this is super nintendo and welcome back to another episode of sly cooper and the thievius raccoonus last time Eggman watched us in this machine and we had pause for effect a high class heist you may notice that there is a third icon on these little things well those are time attack modes you can basically go into these levels try to complete them as fast as possible there is something for you if you manage to do this. However, I will be doing this much, much later because I ultimate, I don't really think it's all that worth it to do so, but I will be showing it regardless. There's no reason for me to show going through the levels as fast as possible though. But for now, how about we come over here? Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> I love the amount of character that is in this game. I, people who know me know that I am very much a person who loves humor. Like, humor and character. And this is a lot of humor and character. This must be the power source for the storm machine! I am playing really, really horrible today. God damn. I have no idea why I'm playing so bad. Why? 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 I wasn't playing this bad in my test recording of this ser of the series. There we go. Nope, you ain't getting me this time, you stupid fire-breathing motherfucker. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> Let's see. There is a clue bottle over here. And now we need to use that trick with making the wheels go right round, baby, right round. So that we can actually move forward. And I love the... I love this game. It's just so... The platforming itself isn't super challenging, but at the same time, if you're like a young lad that sucks at platformers, you can still find this very... You can still find this somewhat challenging. You know, it is quite the game. And a lot of people seem to think this is like the worst of the original trilogy, and personally, I don't think so. Personally, I think it is the best of the original trilogy, at least from a gameplay stance. Because in the other games, they add in a lot more thiefy elements, and although those are fun for a time, I feel like they run their course really quickly for me. And I feel like those games are just a little too long. And, you know, I always lose... Uh, like, I have, I guess, a very short attention span. And, like, this game isn't very long at all. This game is, at most, eight hours long. And I feel like it is the perfect length for this type of thing. It's like adding, uh, it's like making Luigi's Mansion much, much longer. I, I love Luigi's Mansion. I do like, uh, Dark Moon just fine, but 
The original Luigi's Mansion, I feel, is the perfect length for the type of gameplay that you have. You know, I don't feel like the other two games really hit that sweet spot because they try to make the game too long. Especially in the case of Luigi's Mansion 3. You know, more game does not is not always a good thing. You know, having more of a game is not always I missed two of the clue bottles. All right. But, you know, just having more game does not always mean it is a better product, I feel, you know. Oh, there's one all the way back there. How did I miss, how did I miss two clue bottles? I mean, in my, in my test recording, I did miss one, but not two. How did I miss two? There's one over there. Oh, I didn't break this mini safe over here. I'm stupid. Oh well. At least we can grab this safe right now. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be five, seven, nine! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. This is one power up I have never really found a use for, admittedly. Um, same thing with the dive move, to be honest, like, it's just, like, yeah, it's, it's probably a stronger attack, but everything dies in one hit in this game, and it is very lucky that I didn't die there, but it's just one of those things, like, why would you ever use it? You know, I promise that power-ups do get better. You know, they get better, but you know, this is the, the first, the first real world, so they're keeping it simple, indubitably. I do like the roll move though, this one does make it so much easier to get around. Whee! But enough of that, let's grab this key and end the stage. I don't care if you people call me a weenie for for grabbing all these lives. I need them, damn it. The final the final world is really hard. <laughs> Nice life! You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Yes, the R3 button does allow you to shift the camera behind you, but uh, it's really not all that useful. But... You know. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. I want those coins. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Aww. 
So we are going to need this uh, barrel for the whole level. After you destroy these, uh, after you destroy the dart machines, you can, you know, walk on that freely. But for now, we're going to need the barrel. So far, so good. I bet if you stay still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. I felt an overwhelming urge to get inside the barrel. No, more than just an urge. It was my destiny to be here, in the barrel. <laughs> I actually do really need to play a uh, Sly, uh, not Sly Cooper. Um, I, I need to play at some point um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Because, like, I've, I've heard some of the codec sequences in that, and I'm just like, it's so funny. <laughs> I want, I want to uh, play it. I do own it, I just haven't had time to play it. Doing Let's Plays leaves me very little time for playing other, other, uh, other things, you know, like, it, it's a very thankless job, especially when only, like, five people freaking watch me. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this over here so that we can break these dark boards these dart machines. And then we'll go back for any clue bottles that we may have missed. Well, that was close. Cool, we got another extra life. 18 lives already, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that was so lame. <laughs> that was so lame. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh my god. Like, even every so often, I do something so freaking lame that even I think it's lame. <laughs> oh my god. There's the safe. But yet, we're gonna need the, the barrel still. It does make this section much easier than it would be otherwise, but, you know, it's not needed. It's completely unnecessary. And we'll bring this guy over here. He shoots mucus at you to attack you, I guess, like green ink. Maybe he's an inkling. Maybe this game takes place in the same world as Splatoon. So many years ahead. I don't know. But over here, we moved this bookcase and went to find Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> Enter at your own peril. Past the uh, book doors where Things happen that you've never seen before in Dexter's laboratory. Lives the smartest boy you've ever seen, but did he blows his experiments to smithereens? That is the loom that doom while things go boom. Indexter's love. Sorry. <laughs> I I really do like uh, Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> it's so good. It's such a good show. Um, actually, my favorite parts of the show were always um the. Sorry about that. Somebody is banging on like a wall or something. I guess somebody's hammering something. The answer was simple. Dial in two four two.
Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. You know, I kind of wonder what this says if you didn't grab the dive move before getting to this point. <sighs> Camera. <laughs> I want to see what that says, like, if you didn't grab the dive move before grabbing it. But, like, now you can, uh, dive bomb in the air. And, uh, it's really not all that useful. Eh, whatever. this area. Let's open up this path. Coins! Give me coins! Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you would fail to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Alright, so in addition to the two extra life spawn points that we already have, we have that one all the way up there, and... Uh... Thought we could see it at this angle. Okay, so draw distance. There's another one over there. So now we can get four extra lives per uh, visit to this place. So next time on Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, we are going to grab the final two keys and take on Raleigh. See you guys then.